Hi, this is Bob Dennis, and as many of you know, I've been studying PEMF as an engineer and scientist for more than 20 years, so I'd like to give you a brief summary of what I've learned. This is not clinical advice, this is only my scientific opinion on PEMF. There are many forms of PEMF, but I'm going to focus on low power, extremely low frequency PEMF, which is currently the most popular and is probably the safest. The good news is this, PEMF really seems to work for more than 50 serious medical conditions and there's more than a thousand scientific papers on it. It works mostly where mainstream medicine fails, such as chronic pain, chronic inflammatory disease, and diseases of aging. Well, the bad news is that research on electromedicine was killed in about 1910 by the Flexner Report, so we've lost more than a century of good scientific effort. But the FDA has approved PEMF as safe and effective for specific uses, such as depression and non-union fractures, so it can't be all quackery. No one really knows why PEMF works. The molecular mechanisms remain mysterious, but you know, that's okay because we don't really even understand how anesthesia works either. There are no secret or special precise PEMF frequencies. In my opinion, this is marketing fraud. It probably works by electromagnetic induction, so what matters most is the pulse shape. And finally, in my opinion, Although PEMF has many observed biological effects, and these are very diverse, it probably only does one thing. It seems to inhibit chronic pathologic inflammatory processes that interfere with normal healing.